Okay, 4-4, parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's start with parallel. If two things are parallel, um, they never touch. You can think of examples of parallel lines, maybe um, the ceiling and the floor of a home. Those run parallel. Train tracks are parallel. Um, bars are parallel. We've done some absolute values in class. Um, the walls, the opposite walls uh, in, your, in the classroom opposite sides of a rectangle or a square, things, things that never touch. So if I have a lot, um, line that we've already graphed, let's say 2x minus 4, just start with something basic. Um, this has a slope of 2, and so parallel lines have equal slopes. So with the modern technology there, I sped up the writing just a little bit. Parallel lines have equal slopes. So any line that had a slope of 2 would be parallel to this line. For example, if I had y equals 2x minus 10, then those two lines, because they share the same slope of 2, would be parallel. So let's take um, let's take an equation actually I, d I don't want to do that I want to get one directly out of the book okay so it was pretty close to the one I had before but I'm gonna go with y equals 2x minus 4 this is example number one on page 237 y equals 2x minus 4 and goes through a point negative 3, 5. So if I were to graph this, um, if I were to graph this, I would have a y-intercept of negative 4 and a slope of 2. And so this is a point that the book will say the new line goes through. So the new line goes through negative 3, 5, but we want to make sure that it's parallel to the first line. And so What is the slope of the new line going to be? If our first line has a slope of 2, also have a slope of 2, and so this will be my x1, this will be my y1, and I'm going to plug it to the point slope because they've given me a point and a slope. So the point slope, again, we need to write it each time. Now I'm going to substitute in things that I know. Y y. Y1 is 5. The slope is 2. X stays X. And then we are going to be subtracting a negative 3. So let's clean this up a little bit. That's Y minus 5 equals 2 times X plus 3. Again, minus or minus is plus. Now we're going to do some distributive property. Take the 2 times the x and the 2 times the 3. <clears throat> and then we want to get the y by itself, so we're going to add the 5 to the other side. Giving me an equation. plus 11. So this line passes through the point negative 3, 5, also has a slope of 2, which makes it parallel to our first line. So that is parallel lines. How do you determine if they're parallel? Do they have the same slope? Now let's look at perpendicular. Perpendicular lines. Okay, perpendicular lines intersect to form a right angle. So I might have something that looks like this, and I'm just going to sketch something really quick. Two 
two lines that intersect to form a right angle. Okay, the little box means 90 degrees. Again, right angle is... Okay. Their slopes... negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, so remember taking reciprocals when we divided fractions. Let's say I have one line with a slope of two-thirds. Okay, The line that is perpendicular to that would have a slope. I'm going to take the reciprocal, so I'm going to flip it and make it negative. Whoop. So those two lines would be perpendicular because they have negative reciprocal slopes. Now, what if my slope is already negative, then the line perpendicular to it, and that's what they will represent it with in the book, the perpendicular sign, an upside down T. The line perpendicular to that would have a slope. I'm going to flip it. And the opposite of negative is positive, so it would just have a slope of 2. You can leave it 2 over 1, or you can just write it 2. Again, flip it and change the sign. So let's work a problem. Um, let's take y equals negative one half x plus four. And let's say this goes through. Whoa, there's my random dots down there. Let's say this goes through point negative two, three. Okay, or the new line. Let me, let me erase that. I want to find a line that's perpendicular to this one. and passes through okay passes through the point negative two three so we have a point we have our x1 y1 now we just need a slope so this slope is negative one half We want to take the negative reciprocal for ours, so we want to flip it, which is going to just be 2 over 1, and we want to change the sign. That one was negative, this one was positive. So our slope is 2. So substitute in, run this down just a little bit, right about there. We're going to sub in our values. Y is Y. Y1 is 3. Slope is 2. X is X. And then we are subtracting a negative 2. So I'm going to speed this up just a little bit for time's sake. That's going to be 2 times x, which is 2x. Minus and minus is plus, so that's plus 2. 2 times positive 2 is 4. Then I'm going to take my minus 3, add to both sides. So my final equation is y equals... 2x plus 7.
this line is perpendicular. Let's run this back up. This line is perpendicular to the first line, and it runs through the point negative 2, 3. Let's parallel lines, perpendicular lines, in about 10 minutes. We'll see you guys tomorrow.